Hello, I'm Bood and welcome to episode 6, season 6 of Real Oviedo here on my channel. As always, thanks for joining me, it's massively appreciated. You know I love you long time. Brother from another mother. And because of that, because we bros, I know you're going to hit the thumbs up. Leave me a little cheeky comment, maybe even subscribe if you're new. Come and join the family and hit that bell and you'll never miss anything I do. And big thank you to everyone who's sticking with this. I know it's a shit time of year. I mean, we're coming to the end of the game, I know that. But who cares? I'm having fun. Hopefully you hardcore mofos are enjoying it and having fun too. And I've really enjoyed this season. Yesterday, on Saturday, the wife was out. She went to a birthday party and she shut the kids out with a friend. I was on, on my own all day. It's like old school days when you stood to play football manager without caring the world. Most responsible husbands would have cut the grass, washed the car, done man jobs. What did I do? I just play football manager all freaking day and we are here with another season to get through. So let's get into it. So then we're starting the episode here on our stadium page because we do now have undersoil heating and this club this year decides of its own back to stick 5,000 seats in and spend a good chunk of money in doing that. But I'm quite, I am quite like that. I do think you get a different experience with different clubs with different owners and so on. I feel like I get a different experience. And at this club, we have been very successful by not spending a lot using free signings and loan signings, but the club's been very good at improving its facilities. The training facilities have gone up and up and up in my time here. The stadium, they've paid for it, as you can see now, club owned. Um, so that's happened as well. And they're going to improve the capacity. So they do like to put the money into the club, which is great. It's fantastic. I won't mind 100 million to spend, but I haven't got it. We are in a great place and my squad is set for this brand new season. I've still got money in the bank. I've still got money to spend. Um, but I'm happy with the team. Uh, they don't release all that money though. A lot of You can go at some teams and you'll have 67 million in the balance and they'll give you 67 million to spend. So it's run wisely. And I do like trying to do well on a budget. Do I think I'll ever win La Liga? I don't know. But we're going to try our fucking hardest to keep competing. So we're going to do a little in and out. There's four major players gone. Four new players have come in with one or two extras sort of. I'll explain that in a minute. Now, Inigo Martinez, we signed last year, needed a bit of experience at the back. It was only a one year deal. I've let him go. He's been replaced by Omar Alderete. That's what I'm calling him. For 7.5 million, I didn't spend that. I think I've only actually given one and a half. The rest of it is spread out. Now I wanted two new center halves at a good age with certain key attributes. He's a good size. You know, decent tackler, decent marker, good at heading, good at positioning. And I do that with every position. I have like three key attributes. With the centre half, I always look at tackling, marking, positioning, and then I expand it if I can to things like strength and heading and so on. Um, so I'm really happy with that. I think he's an upgrade. Now, I like this lad, Martin Pasquale, or Pasqual, um, 28 years old. He's been a decent player for us. Bit of a squad player, backup centre half. Um, 2.8 million we got from him. From Lens, they put a bid in and I thought, why not? I want I want someone else and we've got someone else. Luis Felipe, 30 year old, again, same age, got good attributes, got a bit of aggression, good anticipation, good bravery, but again, good tackler, good marker, good header, decent bit of strength, good positioning. Um, I like him a lot. Now he cost me 8.25 million, similar deal to the other guy. Uh, probably about 2 million I've given him, rest of it spread out. I do that quite a lot. You put that bid in, they come back with one and then I just keep mooching it, changing it, tweaking it until uh, I like it. And if I don't like it, I don't do it. But yeah, two new center halves. Now this guy cost me eight and a half million last year and he was a good player, but we had a lot of players around that area and he didn't play as much as he likes. As you can see, only 15 games. I think that's just in the league. Um, but he, he was a good player, but he was moaning, right? And Wolves came in for him for about 15 million, something like that. I thought, doubling my money, I'm going to move on because there was someone available I liked on a free. Morgan Gibbs-White, who can play in the middle and behind the striker. A very good player, in my opinion, on here. 27 years old, great passer, great technique. Bit of flair. I'm liking it. When you make a bit of profit and you get a player in who's probably like for like, for nothing, makes you happy. Kakai, kai, kai. Bit of a tool, I'll be honest. Put a transfer request in after a week or two last year because I didn't strengthen the goalkeepers. And it put a bad taste in my mouth. He did help, he did play, he did contribute a little bit. I mean, I signed him on a free. He was at Getafe on loan the year before. I think we got him from Sitter. Um, he's gone to, what is it, Schalke. They gave me, made notes, four and a half million quid. So that's profit. Um, but I didn't really have 
the money. I wanted a good right winger. And I didn't really have the money. I ain't got 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 million and so on to spend. So I've gone into the loan market to replace him. With a regen, Sabin Philip, 23 years old. This is a two year loan deal from Spurs. I think he's great. He's worth a ton of money. I could never afford him. Um, but, you know, if we like him and I keep this series going, when his loan deal runs out, I think his contract runs out. Pretty sure of it. Happy bloody days. Might sign him if we like him. Um, so I think he's better. And I'm very happy with that. Nice cheeky loan deal. I think it's costing me about three and a half mil. And we got Gabriel Rucavina. Christ. Um, back on loan from Manchester United. He was good for us last year. Okay, he's got a bit of pace. Gives us that speed on the wings. So I'm happy with this one. I'm not going to go for every player. We've done that enough over the last few seasons. You, you know the majority of these guys now. That is it on the main squad. You know the other ones. You know what they're about. Um, we've got to move like Jacka. He's still here. I know he's 34. Um, I'm going to take the captaincy off him. But you know, we'll get another season out of him. He'll be a good bit of experience in the middle of the park. Don't know how much he'll play. Um, but I'm very happy. Hendricks obviously got into his second year of his loan. Uh, Torre into his second year of his loan and we have a lot of other good players for Nino, Fagioli and um, I'm happy well the bookies are really liking us we're starting to earn people's respect aren't we very happy <laughs> we can do better than that we've got to get in that top four again I want to compete we won a trophy last year can we do that again well we'll find out so of course the league very important we're in the Champions League again I mean we did great last year in the group and obviously not when we got to the knockout phase, but we did well. Could do that again. I'd be happy and a bit of cash. Um, Copa del Rey. Can we go back to back? We'll find out. And we're in the Super Copa again. This time, though, it's Atletico Madrid in the semi-final. Pre-season, I wanted an easy one. I wanted to win lots of games. I wanted to build confidence to score goals. I couldn't be asked with a challenge. Might be a bad thing I don't know um, but we had a training camp in the States so we played some you know okay American teams I always love playing Indy 11 because I like the idea of playing in their stadium and then I realised we played at MCU Park for every single game so that was a lot of shit um, and then we played Solly Old Moors for my mate the FM Salmon I love him to bits uh, Salford because I've got to go home and see my mum and then York because I absolutely love that York I've been on three stag dues to York if you ever go into York on a night out, it's mint. Honestly, what a place. Not just the history of it. It's a great night out. Staff, a few tweaks, a few new contracts. It's great. We're happy days with everything staff related. So, we were going to be the usual Real Oviedo, starting quite well. Build on it. I mean, bad patches. Or could we be a force? Or we were going to go backwards. Let's jump forward to January the 1st and find out. Oh, no, no, no. It's not January the 1st. It's January the 10th. We'll have a look at something in a minute, but we're fifth at the minute, which is okay. 35 points. We're still in amongst it. Endrick is on the goal scoring charts. We could have been better. I'll be honest with you. I don't think the start of the season was as good as I was expecting it to be. I mean, it wasn't too bad, but back to back draws against teams I think we should have been beating wasn't great. Then we battered Al Alves. Five bloody nil. Check that out, Morgan Gibbs White, you legend. Uh, won a couple more, got beat off Real Sausage Dad. Massively disappointing, I'll be honest with you. Then we ran a great streak. Great streak. A um, couple of draws. A freaking goal bonanza. Look at that. Look at Hendrick. Uh, lovely jubbler. And then we got battered off Barca. Drew with Real Betis. Battered off Real Madrid. We always, always get beaten off Real Madrid. They've beaten me in every game I've played against them, and it's about 10 games. Well, I don't know how long that was going to last for. Because we were in the Super Copa and we beat Atletico Madrid 2-1. Now, I call this tournament this year the FM tournament because we're kind of starting to FM mofos. I'm trying to stop the swearing as much, get trouble for it. Um, but, you know, it was decent. It was decent. We got through to the final. We got through to the final last year against Real Madrid. And they battered us, didn't they? 4-2. I mean, we scored two goals, but they, it was an onslaught, really. I was proud of us scoring two. But I didn't feel bad about it. It's Real Madrid. They beat me all the time. But what would happen this year? <laughs> yeah, man, we got a trophy. Look at it. They absolutely annihilated me. Goals disallowed, missed penalties. Look at me goalkeeper's average rating of 9.6. He saved 
that penalty. And as it got to the end of the game, I was getting nervous. I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to jinx myself. I hit record so you could see the trophy ceremony. Hopefully, I'm showing you that now. And I was just sat there in absolute amazement on my own, on the couch, just me and the dog. I wanted to tell someone, but no one in my house would have given a shit. But wow, we'd, we we FM the shit out of him. Absolutely brilliant. I mean, that early goal, and then it was just non-stop. Real Madrid, check us out, eh? With a Super Cup and a Copa del Rey. We're on a roll. Let's check in on the squad on the 10th of Jan. Arranged by average rating. The usual boys. I mean, Fernino, great player. For the free, great player. He's currently wanted. He's always wanted. Pretty sure I gave him a new contract. He ain't going anywhere. Um, he's been fantastic. Spurs reject with his pace. He's obviously injured, not for too long. Endrick, great player. Him and Fernino. God, I'm going to miss Endrick next season. Hopefully, I'm going to try and get him back on loan. There's no way we could buy him. We'll see, because they've got Hoyland and Ossiman. But you know what this game's like. They go, oh no, we want to give him a chance in the first team. We'll see, though. Um, backup goalkeeper did well in his one game, <laughs> as you can see. Um, but I'm very happy. I know we're fifth in the league, but I still felt confident. We're playing a lot of football. Um, Champions League as well. I'm going to have a look at the Champions League. Soon, very soon, actually. As in now, and check us out, those days of us finishing second from bottom and not winning a game. We are like ancient history. I mean, we did fantastic last year. We finished second and we finished fourth in the group this year. Won six, drawn none, and I lost two. I'm going to show you on here, actually. It's quicker. And there are my victories. Look at that. Look at that. PSG, 2-1. Um, and there's my defeat. Liverpool. Remember, we beat them at Anfield in the group stage last year. You, you could say they got the revenge. 7-3. The youth intake. Wow. It, they've been great. They've been consistently fantastic for year after year for us. This year was turd. As you can see, I've not offered anyone a contract right now. I don't know if I'm gonna. And the money's great. I mean, down 10 million from the start of the season, roughly, but you know, in the Champions League. The, the clubs run fantastic, to be fair. Um, I'm just hoping, you know, the facilities are nearly there. They own the stadium. They're going to be upgrading the stadium. I think it's finishing at the end of the season. So it should be ready for the next season. And they might start releasing some cash. Because there are wonder kids out there with minimum fees and stuff that I just can't get. Do you know what I mean? Um, I can't build that kind of team and get a spine of like little wonder kids together like I like to sometimes. It's fun to do. But it's also fun to do what I'm doing. Loans and freebies. Because we're doing really well. Built a good team here. Who are fourth? I mean, look at Real Madrid again. They're dying to have an invincible season, aren't they? Um, we're fourth. And we are a country mile now, as you can see, away from Valencia. So top four is good. You know, I'd like to finish a bit higher. We're only two points off Real Sociedad, which is bonkers. Endrick. I mean, Real Madrid, not a, they're going to keep him, aren't they, next year? Uh, look at him. He's absolutely fantastic. So is Sabin a Philip? I love Sabin. Philip got him for two years. So I've reversed the dates on the fixture list for the league. Um, I think I've highlighted the game after the tenth, yeah, the twelfth of the first, uh, which we won. Um, and then that was disappointing. We, st we still have the disappointing game where they just don't show up. Um, but then that was a fantastic run back to back against Villarreal. It was a lot of fun. Real Sociedad, who were doing fantastic this season, gave me a kick in. Drawn with Madrid. Um, yeah, you know we're doing all right. We're doing all right. Big running though. Big running, lots of games, lots of points could be dropped. We got Real Madrid, last game of the season. I just need to share it with you because it's still absolutely amazing. What a time to beat them when, it, when you're getting silverware. It was brilliant, honestly. Because look at the state of that run since I've been manager. And we finally did it on the big stage. Now at this stage, the Champions League's still going. And we drew PSG, who we did well against in the group stage. And again, you know, got battered really. We did well, but they did a lot better. Um, but we we kept in it. Look at the state of it. I mean, look at it. Red cards everywhere. Well, one. But, you know, 4-3. The tie was alive. <laughs> this blew me away. I was so... It was unexpected. I believe in the lads. They were a good team when they want to be. But that was just nearly the complete performance. Just Endrick. Letting side down, which is, you know, a rarity. Everyone else stepped up to that plate and we absolutely battered them, dominated them. I mean, they had a man down as well, but we're still in it at this stage. And we've drawn Eric Ten Bloody Hags, Eric Ten Hag, 
uh, his Barcelona team I think Jurgen Klopp's the manager of Real Madrid as well big time in this league uh, well for some clubs so yeah Barcelona should have a quick look at the squad at this stage of the season arranged by average rating again and look at that Endrick goals machine Benino goal machine they play together a lot of play Endrick on the wing and um, why not after they've got goals in them and then you've got Sabin Philip as well what a front three you may have noticed as well he's got a transfer in place yeah turned us down and decided to go to Hertha of Berlin I thought two seasons with us you got two winners medals you loved, I thought you loved us why would you all go to Hertha of fucking Lynn well we're up to the 10th of May now and there's two games left to play away at Real Betis and away at Real Madrid it's just a Real football fest for everyone I just hope it's not shit um, and we're second and I really want to finish runners up why not? I mean, we're not going to win the league. Look at Real Madrid. I mean, you got Declan Wright. Look at the players you've got. Look what we're competing against. Trying to win a title. Ain't happening. They ain't collapsing. And um, they're going for the invincible season. Who are they playing? They've got Real Valencano. They're going to beat them. And then we've got to go away again. And we always lose against, apart from that one game, obviously, the Super Copper. It's, down, it's going to be down to us, hopefully, to try and break that deadlock in it. What we're not going to do is reclaim the Copa del Rey this was I felt like we had a good chance when we drew them I'm like we'll get past them we'll rock and roll wasn't to be football manager football it's a funny old game it doesn't always work out but I can't lie I was disappointed I was really hoping for another final wait for these two legs because this this was great I mean I'm starting to think something's happening something special may be happening we beat Barcelona at the Camp Nou 4-2 and then got beat 5-2 Four at home. We went through. Absolutely nuts. So much fun though. And then we drew Milan in the semi-final and I thought, Milan, we could do these. And we just got twatted. Mountain and half to climb. Everest times two. Can we do it? No, of course not. We won, which, you know, saving face a little bit, made you feel a little bit better. But we're in the semi-final there. I got Milan in the semi-final. And this ain't Milan of old, is it? From when I was growing up. I, I felt that was such an opportunity miss for us. That that away game really was a tough in balls up, wasn't it? It was a great opportunity to knock out PSG and Barcelona and get Milan. You're thinking, you're going to do Milan. So I'm going to now try and squeeze in the battle for second. I know we got a trophy. I wish I could share that with you. Again, it's too early in the season. Um, I'm going to try and do maybe a little live come against Betis. So we'll see how that goes. And then another live come against Real Madrid. See if we can FM them again and stop their invincible season. So we have a little bit of a makeshift team today, mainly due to fatigue, a few injuries and so on. And I've got three days in between this and Real Madrid. So I, I'm thinking I might do what I've done in the past. Maybe just do a replay, a little replay live com. I'll jump back in when the goal's happened. Hopefully it's for us. Um, and then spend a bit more time watching us get battered off Real Madrid. It's 1-0 to Betis, to be fair. I mean, we've had flashes, but they have been the better team, I think, so far. Had a couple of chances. And now they've taken it. Ooh, all right. It was a highlight from kickoff. We worked our way down great. And then Kang Lee had a right weak ass shot. And then the keeper kicks it out. And I thought, all right, maybe my theory of uh, kickoff straight away um, is bullshit. But the ball was kept in play. The highlight carried on. They've gone back down the field. Got a penalty. I missed it. Oh, you absolute twonk. Well, it's half time. It should be 1-1. Uh, it should be, in my opinion. I'm gonna make some changes. Right, I've told them they're absolutely terrible, but I have made quite a few changes. Um, a couple of players I wanted to kind of save. Obviously, Hendrik gives white, they've come on and um, changing my defense around as well. It's so weird doing it this way sometimes because I just want to cheer, but I'm trying to save that cheer for the replay when we're together watching. Check this out mistake from Williams. Nino picks it up. Back in it. I tell you what, I'm jumping in. Hendrik, since he's come on, has just been all over the pitch, well, all down the left. He just won the ball back then. He's just been up and down, up and down, up and down. But they've nicked it back. And we'll stay in it now to see if Real Betis are going to go 2-1 up. Yeah. Oh! Well, it's ended 1-1. Fair result in the end, I think. I'd say so. I mean, we definitely improved in the second half. And uh, Philippe, Philippe, who ended up coming off eventually, had a cracking shot in the corner of the box. And it just looked like it was going in the top corner. It must have just 
gone past the post, gutted. Anyway, it's a point away from home against Real Betis, and we always have good games against them. But now it's time for the big one. Get ready for a bloody ass whooping. So, of course, they're still undefeated. We are just about still second. Um, I fully expect us to lose this. I'll be honest with you. That that Super Cup final is a one-off, right? I know. Got to share the losses as well. But it would be nice, wouldn't it, if we could do that. Um, we'll see. We'll see. I have got the two leading bloody goal scorers in the league. They can just show up together. We'll be fine. Oh, yeah. Endrick can't play, can he? Hey, 37 goal machine. Can't bloody play against Real Madrid. Welcome to the Santiago Bernabeu. And they have got some bloody team, haven't they? Look at that. Got players on the bench that just make your eyes water with pain. Um, I'll put the best team out I can. It's not 100% fit. I don't care. Just do your best, boys. Do your best. Hopefully, Real Saucy Dad get beat and we can be runners up, which would be lovely. Well, here we go. Very excited. Even though I know, is, is, this is the thing when you go into a game like this, though. You don't expect anything. So if something happens, it's super exciting. Although 10 minutes in, oh, I was just going to say, 10 minutes in, no highlights, but here we go. It's us on the ball. Look at the, look at the pitch. Beautiful, isn't it? Oh, you're, you're not beautiful. That was shocking. Absolutely freaking shocking. Um, I treated myself today. I spent quite a bit of money recently, but at work, Transport for Greater Manchester, we call it TFGM, right? They do these school passes for school kids. They're a year pass that the kids buy. And I've got this theory that sometimes the parents give the kids the money and they don't buy it and they think they can use their old pass because they look exactly the same. Hey! But you can't do that for United more sometimes. Anyway, they've said if we can retrieve them off kids, they'll pay, pay £15 a pass. I didn't know this until I went and worked the other night and a guy was filling out a form with a pass and I'm like, what are you doing? I mean, I'm getting 15 quid for this. I went, well, I've got six in my bag from this week. 90 quid. Cash them in. And straight out, not told the wife. Don't you tell her either. And bought myself some fresh white Air Max. I've got three pairs of different styles now. Buzzing. <laughs> for me jolly holidays. Nice crisp ones. Yeah, honestly, I can't wait for this Benadorm trip now. A um, friend of my sister's is there. It's like 33 degrees today. Hopefully it stays that way. They reckon it might be 29 when I'm there, which I'm happy with. I'm not bothered about it being mega boiling. He's a good little player. And that's a great Luis Felipe. Um, not too bothered about it being mega rot. Some grimy shorts. Get pissed. Can't wait. Definitely going to go and see Sticky Vicky. Definitely want to go and see the Star Wars sex show. If you don't know what that is, Google Star Wars sex show in Benidorm. Why not? Bit of fun, in it. Um, bit of the old town. Bit of the strip. You know what I mean? With the boys. Like I said, I'm gonna make I'm gonna try and film as much as I can and make a little light vlog of my trip and I'm gonna put it on my channel. I know it's not football manager. Um, but I used to do quite a lot of videos like that back in the day. You'll find them. You trace your history all the way back. Some of them, oh Jude. And um, some of them I got audio because when I first did it and it realized you got copyrighted. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Some of the audio works, some of them are silly. Um, but yeah, I'm uh, really looking forward to it, can't wait now. Oh, there you go, Jude Buddy Bellingham. But you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. We need to look at the table. We're not. We need to know what Real Saucier Dad are doing. Can we at least get back into this? Well, no, no. Real Saucier Dad are getting beat by Sevilla. Go on, Sevilla. We're still second, man. And it's half time. Um, I was looking for pictures for the little thumbnails I put on before games, and you can realise how good Real just Stadium is now. It's really nice, isn't it? And as a Man United fan, we should have stuff like that. I'm just, I'm getting, I'm getting sick and tired of Manchester United. Let's kick off the second half. I'm making no changes yet. It's like fucking, no, it's, we're not going to do it. Oh, apparently we did, we did some wonderful stuff. The commentator was saying. Yeah, no Hendrick's a big loss. And no Hendrick next season is going to be a huge loss. But there are going to be changes in this team. Of course, we're losing a winger. We decided to join Hearth in Berlin. I thought he was a shoe in to join us, you know? I really like that when you have a lone player and he does well and then you sign him on a free. Bit gutted about that, I won't lie. Um, but we'll see what we can do. You, you, you never know, and I always say this until you, you get to that summer and you know, you obviously getting your Champions League, which helps. Players want to come. Jude Bellingham, 100 odd million, twat. I can't believe they've signed him on here. It's weird, really, because he usually goes like Liverpool or City, don't he? Um, but obviously, in game, he played a couple more extra years than he does in real life for Dortmund, and then he did come. But yeah, come on, Scott Pablo. The Barca boy. 
Oh, lovely ball. Oh, there he is, the lad that's joining. Good for Berlin. Yeah, Real Madrid. He's got some nice kits and all this year. Baku, what are you going to do? Nothing to hope to you, bloody belly. What a player. Oh, corner ball. I've demanded some more. Give me some of it. I'm going to make some changes. Oh, goal line clearance from Janicki. That's that free sign, and he's been more of an impact sub player. I think he's like 28 sub appearances. But he's been good. He's a good little player for free. I love freebies. I think he was free. I've lost track. Quite a few years in now, aren't we? What? What did I say? Did he push it onto the bar? I think he did. It's just an onslaught, though, isn't it? This is what it was like. But they just couldn't score, and we'd scored that early goal uh, for Nino, and it was just like non stop. I sat here like that. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is happening. This is actually happening. We made a great live comp to do that together, but you know. I would like, though, because there's only two. It's for us to score. We can do it. Come on. Here he is, the traitor. I, honestly, I feel bitter. Oh! Good effort, Kang Lee in. His name changes all the time. Oh! I do want to ask you though, because I've never been to Benidorm. I know it's like a bit of a black pearly thing abroad, they call it. But there's some beautiful bits. It does look fun! Oh! Oh my god! No! Come on, man! Checking goal review. Oh god, yes! 20 minutes! Highlight from kickoff. I'm getting bored of this now. It seems to be happening. More and more, not just in live comms, but in games. Do, do you get it yourself? Is it just me? I mean, it's one of my stupid conspiracy theories. Do you know what I mean? It's doing me tits in. I'll be honest with you. They need to improve that. They do. But um, yeah, have you ever been at Benidorm? What's it like? Because we had just, you know, four four blokes going for a piss up, really, and that's all we cared about. You know what I mean? Drinking loads of beer and eating food. Oh no! Oh, oh, the highlights are live still though. No, it's not. So, yeah, it don't always work, maybe. I don't know if you've noticed as well, but um, Real Sociedad have scored. They're what, drawing 1 1. They've gone into second. I mean, Champions League's the main thing! <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna have a table over my knees, jiggling about! I'm gonna have a little Korean babies with him and a fucking highlight from kickoff. I should make changes, really, but why? Should, should I? I ain't got time when you get a highlight from kickoff. Don't take effect. No! No! Oh, see what I mean? See, I'm sick of it. I've gone very attacking. What the hell have I got to lose? What the hell have we got to lose? Come on, Real Madrid. Balls it up. You know, two goals though. We've done, we've done proud. They've done me proud. But here come Real Madrid again down the round side with Baku. What are you going to do? Give it to Vinny Jew and he scores. And there we go. It's full time. 4-2 to Real Madrid. They absolutely battered us to be fair. Pretty proud of scoring two. So there we go. That's the season over. Finished level on points with Real Sociedad. Rubbish. Um, yeah. Poop. But you know, two leading goal scorers. Really going to miss Hendrik. We'll see what happens with that. You never know. Real Madrid might feel kind. And let us have him for a third season. We will find out in the next episode. We're still in the Champions League though. But like I said, have I hit my ceiling? Can we really do anything? Can I, can I, am I going to ever win the Champions League in reality? Can I find some gems? I mean, I do have the biggest freaking transfer budget ever just given to me. 24 million. Never had that kind of money. If I could stretch that out, we'll see. Well, don't, I don't know. I just loan the shit out of all the top players in the Premier League that sat at City doing nothing. So there we go. That is the end of season six we did win a trophy won the super cup which was nice we did really well in the champions league got to the semi-final Copa del rey was a bit disappointing and we finished in the top four again of la liga technically joint were up if you want to think of it as on points um so it's still a good season but you know things are going to change and can i just get us into a higher gear we'll find out i don't know but thank you as always for watching and supporting make sure if you're brand new you hit that subscribe button i'm very close to 16,000 subs which would be very nice before fm 24 thank you hit the bell as well don't forget and um, bonus for you guys that are solid and hardcore for me all year through and i'm watching this i appreciate you the most you're absolute legends um so stay happy stay safe and look forward to episode seven i'll probably be very giddy in episode seven because i'll be bloody going on all day at any moment so you stay happy you stay safe i'll see you next time i'm booed bye bye